And this weekend, you can help feed your community without even leaving your home. Second Harvest of the Big Bend and the National Association of Letter Carriers are teaming up for a special food drive. Postal workers will pick food donations up right from your front door or your mailbox. And we talked to organizers today about where that food is going and how you can still help out. This is helping to feed countless individuals all over the city, over the county, nationwide. Uh, the NALC puts on a fantastic event every year around this time, and I'm glad that they were able to keep this going. Padir Fitzcoy, who works at the Centerville Post Office in Tallahassee, says the annual Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive is something he looks forward to every year. But this right here is, is simple, We're giving away food. We shouldn't be throwing away food at all. After going strong for nearly 30 years, the pandemic brought the program to a screeching halt. And this year, Stamp Out Hunger is back. We're able to re-engage our community, invite them to participate in this really special event. Donations from this weekend's food drive will help future food distributions throughout the Big Bend. The drive has already collected more than 11,000 pounds of food, more still rolling in. Monique Van Pelt, CEO of Second Harvest of the Big Bend, says the drive was an opportunity for those who may have accessibility issues to get involved in feeding their community. A special element Van Pelt says she loves about the drive. And what's really wonderful about it is the fact that the barriers related to uh, a transportation, if someone wanted to contribute to the food bank and our mission, it might be difficult for them to give simply because they can't make it out to our warehouse. So this is a really simple way for people to participate in the work that we do um, and really be a part of the mission to end hunger in our community. Van Pelt also says the post office will continue collecting donations on Sunday and all you have to do again is leave those donations next to your mailbox or hand them straight to your mail carrier. According to Feeding America, more than 36,000 Leon County residents were food insecure in 2019.